Well, we here on Earth appear to be in a spot of trouble. NASA says that it's tracking an asteroid taking aim directly at us. It's potentially larger than the Empire State Building, but good news, we probably won't see it in our lifetime. Not our problem. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, here's ABC's Danny New. Something you don't like the looks of? We discovered a very large comet. Oh, good for you. The plot to many science fiction movies might actually be happening. Not for sure, but... We definitely should be tracking this object. Dr. Dante Loretta is referring to a four and a half billion year old asteroid named Bennu. It's as tall as this building. It's you. It's me. The Empire State Building. And apparently could collide with the Earth in the year 2182 and probably change life as we know it. Now, technically, there's only a 0.05% chance of that happening, but we still have to prepare for that chance, right? It's important to understand this hazard in general and what we might be able to do when an asteroid ultimately is going to collide with the Earth because it's happened many times before throughout geologic history. The good news is scientists have been working on one of the solutions here, sending something into space to deter an asteroid. Three, two, one. You may remember in October of 2022 when NASA successfully used its mission called DART to alter the trajectory of an asteroid with a spacecraft. There's also the option of pinpointing where it might hit and evacuating that area, which would require a level of accuracy we don't have yet, but... The people of the year 2135 will, because okay. that's when Bennu will fly between the Earth and the moon. Well, thank God for that. At least we know NASA has successfully made contact with this asteroid before. In September, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft returned from a seven-year mission of actually collecting samples from Bennu. And Dr. Loretta says the findings could help answer the big question, how in the heck we got life on this planet? That's the biggest mystery in science right now. And I think this asteroid and the samples we brought home hold the clues. In New York, for ABC News, I'm Danny New. And I'm not going to touch that. No. <laughs> Like you said, not in Where our lifetime. Where did life come from? I'm not touching it. Like not in our lifetime. We're not going to have that conversation. Not our problem. And what was the chance? Of this Point zero 0.05. Oh. I mean. <laughs> come on. Even if it was in our lifetime, I'm not sure if I'd be too scared of that. Yeah. You got a better chance of getting the Mega Millions. Yeah. <laughs> Which, hey, there is another drawing for coming up here. There so go, there we go. No one won.